Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to solve objective question that had appeared in past university question paper in the year April 23 and April 2019 under the subject security and portfolio management also known as SAPM. Again, a very important video for all the TYBBI STEM 6 students. So let us see which are the questions that had appeared from the objective point of view. Okay, first April 2019, the very first question was mark the column. So here are the, uh, the uh, this was the question, here are the answer which have been marked. The equity share was 10, risky capital. Stephen share is 3, fixed dividend. Fundamental analysis is 8, ratios. PPF was uh, 5, tax saving investment. Public deposit is 4, unsecured deposit. Investment bank is 7, initial public offering. Uh, post office was 6, registered office, present value was 2, discounted value, bond is 1, debt fund and 9, the expectation to fall is 9, bear market. So these were, this was the very first type of question which was there in the sum. Along with that, the next one was true or false. So the first one, small cap stock uh, tends to offer more growth potential than large cap stock is true. Risk is highest in callable bond, which is false. The higher the risk of a security, the lower would be the return expected from it is true. Speculative activities are harmful, true. Fundamental analysis is the method of evaluating a security is true. The example of solvency ratio include current ratio and quick ratio is true. The price level and inflation affects the economy of the country is true. The efficient market hypothesis, which is also known as EMH, states the financial market are inefficient is false. The risk is measured by variability in returns. True. And the last one was a risky asset is one whose return is certain as a government security. That is false. <clears throat> so these were the, uh, you know, the objective question that had appeared in April 2019 question paper. Now, alongside the next year, that was April 2023. Uh, the objectives which were asked were first was MCQs. These were the 10 MCQs which were there. Holding period return is equal to dash upon investment into 100. The answer was total return. Second, the concept of financial investment means addition to dash capital stock. Investors who prefer lower return with known risk rather than higher return with unknown risk are called risk averse. Dash is a speculator who expect decline in price that is bare. Shares of unknown and financially sound companies are called as Dash blue chip shares. Beta is a type of Dash systematic risk. Dash form of efficient market reflect both public and private information that is semi strong. Next is Dash is a technique of reducing the risk involved in portfolio that is diversification. Next is current ratio is equal to current asset divided by current liability. And last one was technical analysis or developed by Charles Dow. Okay, so these were the 10 MCQs uh, in the paper of the year April 2023. And alongside this was uh, true or false, which I'll just go through one by one. Diversification helped to reduce unsystematic risk is true. Fundamental analysis, the method of evaluating a security is true. Examples of profitability uh, ratio include current ratio and quick ratio is false. The efficient market hypothesis states that the financial market are inefficient is false. Business risk is an example of unsystematic risk is true. Jensen measure is based on CAPM, which is true. The stock market index shows the performance of the country, which is false. The portfolio management involves changing the existing mix of securities, which is true. Uh, operating leverage represents the ability to use fixed operating cost is true. And time is important factor for investment is also true. So these were the true or false which were given in the question. Okay, paper that is April 2023. So now what I'll do is I'll just go start from back. So if I want to take a screenshot, I can take them and I can start preparing on them. Okay. So these were the MCQs. Uh, these are the math the column. I can take a screenshot of that.
Okay, this was true or false of April 2019. You can take a screenshot of that also. Now, from April 2020, these are the MCQs. You can take a screenshot of that. Okay, and these were the true or false from April 2023. You can take a screenshot of that too. Okay, chalo. I hope everyone have uh, you know taken the screenshot and I hope this becomes useful to you all. So with that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.